The Chiefs and Brumbies will decide the 2013 Super Rugby season in Hamilton on Saturday in the second Trans-Tasman final in three years. What a, a blockbuster event you've had here at Loftus Festival. This will be the 18th Super Rugby final since the competition began with the onset of professionalism in 1996 and it has all the ingredients to be one of the best. This year's losing semi-finalists, the Crusaders, and the inaugural champions, the Blues, played out the pick of the finals in the early years of Super Rugby when they met in 1998. After claiming back-to-back -back titles in 96 and 97, the Blues were chasing a hat-trick of crowns when they welcomed their great South Island rivals to Eden Park. It really is a classic North versus South uh, confrontation, and uh, for the occasion, Eden Park is uh, chock-a-block. In a gripping encounter that only saw three tries, Crusaders winger James Kerr broke a 13-all deadlock with a five-pointer after the Blues failed to deal with an ordinary Andrew Mertens kick. Andrew Mertens punches it forward, bounces up to Nick and it's loose. It's a try! James Kerr has got the try! That might just about do it! Five years later, the Crusaders travelled to Canberra in search of their fifth title after establishing themselves as the competition's most dominant outfit. The two sides had met in both 2000 and 2002 deciders, with Robbie Dean's side emerging victorious in both. But right from the early minutes, it was obvious the 2004 final wouldn't boast a similar script. Oh, super nudge. Hosts turn on a brilliant first half to all but lock up the match at half time, with winger Mark Gerrard scoring a hat trick and George Smith showing off all his skills. Gives it to George Smith, oh! kicking ahead. Who wins the race? Mark Gerrard! Mark Gerrard is tried up before. What was that? There were 15 tries in what was one of the greatest displays of running rugby of all time. But the moment of the match came when legendary Brumbies winger Joe Roth touched down to break Christian Cullen's try scoring record. Roth's there, Roth, Roth! He's got the record! Joe Roth! That surely has won the title for the Brumbies, and he has scored 57 tries. He breaks Christian Cullen's all time try scoring record for Super 12. Fairy tales do happen. It took 11 years for the first All-South African final to occur, but the Bulls and Sharks certainly didn't disappoint when they met in the 2007 decider. It's a great moment for South African rugby. After 184 games played since the 2nd of February, 54,000 people will greet the 44 players who will take the field this afternoon. No franchise from the Republic had tasted Super Rugby glory beforehand, and the two sides went hammer and tong at each other for the full 80 minutes. Here's Habana. Oh, Habana is in trouble. Brian Habana is in trouble here. After an absorbing battle at a packed Absa Stadium in Durban, it was the Bulls who had etched their names in South African rugby folklore. This is it! Habana has scored! And the Bulls pulled this out of the fire! They cannot believe it, the shot! The visitors claiming the match in dramatic circumstances with an injury time try to Springboks winger Brian Habana. While it wasn't one of the classic deciders, the Bulls' 44-point hammering of the Chiefs in Pretoria certainly was a memorable one. After conceding the game's first try, the Bulls ran wild over their travel-weary opponents to put the game out of reach at the break. And Brian Habana gets his second. The hosts didn't let up after that as they piled on four more tries to register a thumping 61-17 victory and secure their second crown. Some champagne being sprayed around as well. What a great night. After countless years in the doldrums, the Queensland Reds finally burst into life under Ewan McKenzie. They may have narrowly missed the finals in the now Wallaby coach's first season in charge, but there would be no stopping them in 2011. The James Horwell-led Reds did have to go through seven-time champions, the Crusaders, however, and it took a piece of Will Genia brilliance for them to lift the trophy. Is this a magical moment coming up? Genia! Yes! The Cooper and Genia embraced. In one of the great halfback tries ever seen, Genia ran 65 metres, beating a swag of Crusaders along the way to spearhead the Reds to an 18-13 triumph. Queensland Reds, Super Rugby Champions.
Jones in 2011. He's beaten them. He's lost in two finals previously to the Crusaders. He's won in five.